very differently. <laughs> but again, it's luck is all. Michelle, have you ever thought about performing on stage? Huh? What for? It was just one time, it was just a one time thing. What well, makes her suitable to perform with us on stage? Asila? Sister Drona, you're not going to say a word about it? You and I both know how many years it took, us, took for us to get where we are now. I know, Priscilla, that's enough. <sighs> Don't have an appetite for dinner anymore. I'm leaving. Sorry, Priscilla's rather emotional. Anyway, it's time for me to leave as well. Pardon for my sister's shenanigans. So, how do you think you did today? But it was just an accident. Can I really perform on stage? Absolutely. You have my word. You will, no doubt, become our proudest actress of all time. The table was set with delicious food. This music, though, I'm probably going to go back out. Hmm, a piece of candy. There's a fully wrapped candy on a floor. Do you want to pick it up? I uh, yeah. What's, what's gonna happen? I really don't like this music. <laughs>
Ooh. I don't like the blood. There is a magic away on the floor of the room, and there are seven patterns on the magic away. The room is smeared in a, a strong, rusty, and rotting scent. He bent down to place some food to lure a kitten out of the cage. Good girl. He then grabbed the black cat's neck and placed it on the platform, stroking its soft fur. How was the last supper? He picked up a knife and stabbed the cat clean right through the heart. Whoa, brother. Obtain a, a black cat's corpse. This is so disgusting. I can't be here any longer. I hear nothing. Do you have any idea what you're doing? Of course, it's all been cre recreating the. Um, of course, it's all about recreating the miracle, and that's what we've been trying to accomplish, isn't it? In order to bring the enchantress upon the world, seven sacrifices must be acquired, but offering a living sacrifice will not lead to salvation. You go mental for it. Huh? Crazy? Who else in the order who else in the order is sane? Whose hands are clean? How could there be miracles without sacrifice? You're out of your mind. No one who will agree with your twisted method. A silver flash pierced through the companion from behind, blood pouring out from his abdomen. Why? Oh. The man cut off his companion's head without hesitation. The man stared coldly at the corpse in a blood, pool of blood. His clothes were stained red. And I will make sure that no one knows about this. Uh. Okay. No way I feel sick. What the hell is this place? I must find the key and get out of here. You tell me the truth. It's raining heavily outside right now. God damn it! So this must be his or the companion's room. Why the hell is the dude with the ponytail though? So with stacks of elegantly adorned books. I'm sorry we did our best. There are no matching children in the black market, so we suggest you go directly to the etiquette club. In addition, please remember to complete the pavement. A bunch of lusty bastards. The letter was torn into pieces, but there is a picture inside the letter. The person can be seen sitting on a chair, motionless. It was a pink-haired little girl holding a teddy bear. Her face is blurred and unrecognizable. I know you are still alive somewhere, but where have you been? I obtained a picture of a little girl. Oh, excuse me. The same hair color as me. Who is this person looking for? A rusty tang smell filled up my nose, and the room was full of barrels and a few books. Let's tell the books read the Resurrection Codex. Not enough for her advent. No, no. 
Far from it. More sacrifices are needed. He picked up the knife on the table and gripped it tightly. Slowly walked towards the door. Okay, that's a revival. Advent? Outside. The forest is full of apple trees with several red apples hanging on them. Is it autumn already? You guys want to get like, um. You used to love apples the most. Every fall you would pull, pull me here just to pick me. Just to pick them. Ooh. Picking up the red apple that fell under the tree. But now these apples are no longer picked by anyone. So I got a red apple. Does this person like apples as much as I do? Girl, it might be you. We got some milk from the jar. It needs a bit more honey. It's still early, so just sit at the table and enjoy. Drinking honey milk from the cup, he stared at the vase of flowers on the table. There's a pink rose inside the vase. Suddenly, he put down the mug, reached out, and picked up the rose, plucked a petal, and threw it into the milk. Obtain roses. What does this mean? Okay. There's another spot, but we have nothing. The item is sitting on the floor. Should I pick it up? Oh! Nope. What's up, Miss Ma'am? of cicadas chirping. The afterglow of the setting sun shone into the room from the windows. The breeze blew up the ivory white curtains, but still couldn't relieve the summer heat. Is he dead? The Tommy was filled with the fresh blood, the dried crimson red and was mixed with bright red. It got dirty. Better clean this up quickly. Hey! The child, unable to hear the girl's voice, stepped over the lying man and walked to the toilet on the side. What is happening? The corners are filled with dark, black plastic bags, emitting a disgusting stench. The man on the floor was gutted open. His legs were cut off, and his mouth filled with severed fingers. The scene was unbearable, and the fact that it was, that it's all in the small apartment made it worse. The girl walked into the bathroom, holding back her inner panic and the urge to vomit. In the simply decorated toilet, the child is washing her hands. Hey! The child still having took a look at the girl. 
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. The clean and clear singing voice echoed in the clean white toilet with her body swaying to the rhythm of the song. What? All cleaned up. The child walked past the girl and went back into the living room. The girl watched as the child crouched down, staring at the man's corpse. So boring. Strangely, the child looked so clean that not a single stain could be seen on him from the back. Maybe he wasn't the one that killed all these people, but her hand was stained with blood. Eh, uh, that's so boring. I want to go back now. The child stood up and headed toward the door. Hey, hold on. You're so annoying. The girl was startled by the child's sudden response. The child finally re realized her existence. She was about to ask the child some question, but the next moment, a pair of small little hands began to put pressure around her neck. <coughs> Let go. The increasing pressure from the hands began to slowly hinder her breathing. You're so goddamn annoying. Always asking all these meaningless questions. What is happening? Isn't this obvious? Or do you want to be like that woman? As soon as the child said that, all of a sudden, the small apartment filled with plastic bags and a man's corpse turned into a vast Japanese styled room. In this place where there was once a wall, now hangs a couple of women. Their hair were hanging down, with their faces bruised. <coughs> the girl raised her hands and tried to pull the child's hands that were choking her. But the child's hand had more strength in them than it looks. Am I really going to die here? Wake up! The hands that were choking the girl released and the girl fell to the floor as she slowly regained her breath. The person in front of her was no, was not the little girl with scornful eyes, but a tall figure. Look closely. Who's this guy in front of you? The person in front of me? A sound of metal cadence and a sharp gasp. Please, don't, don't do it again. A hazy face came with a panicking voice. What do you want? I will give you anything. The blood, the blade of conviction, pierced through flesh and meat, part of our agonizing cry. Again and again, and again the, the same movement repeated as the red liquid splashed all over the place. The wet and sticky texture and a strong rusty smell followed. The child continued swinging the blade as the girl and the man watched. The child still exists in front of her very eyes, but was really the child who killed all those people. Suddenly, for a split second, the girl saw it. The face looks awfully similar to hers. Okay, yeah, I got faculty. Who comes to the circus wants to achieve? The chief of circus? Yes. 
Circus is a place to bring happiness and joy to the world. It gives every audience dreams, hopes, and leaves a smile on every child's face. The world craves the hard work of every person on the stage. The hope can lead us to fulfill our dream. Am I really able to take this role? Of course, just trust your voice. Welcome to Circus to Say! My name is Nichelle. I'm the new chief of the circus. This is my first performance on stage. Please enjoy! The elegant voice of Nichelle and Teddy's dance resonates perfectly. Almost everyone stood up and applauded the performance. The sound of the crowd's encore strings together non-stop. The whole tent is filled with laughter and cheers. Today's performance came to a perfect end in Nichelle's performance. Oh, look at Nichelle's performance. Cecilia, calm, quiet down. This little brat, that little brat isn't here anyway. I can say whatever the hell I want. Just calm down a bit. Calm down? You're awfully calm about your spotlight being taken, aren't you? You're just going to be quietly taking the fact that a little brat like her, who's only been here for a few days, takes up the chief's role just because of the mediocre scene she can do? So much jealous. We've been rooting for the spot for years. Well, she did say it was my cus- Ugh. just wrote me. Got her shot by- I don't know if I said that right. By calling the bear the day before, didn't she? That's just a coincidence. A coincidence. Although there were a few mistakes in her performance today, her voice seemed to have an impeccable, impeccable power. As you can see, it's been a long time since we've had an entire audience asking for a second encore, but she did it. But, Adriana, this is right. And that's why I want her to be the chief. Vasily, you should have felt it during her performances today, right? I know you are capable of, and so does the audience. But what the audience craves is something more unique, more mind-blowing, and innovative. That's why I, Minister, we accept your request. It's enough. Should an actor repeat the same performance so many times when they go on stage for the first time? My heart pumps so fast every time I walk on the stage. I wonder how Teddy is doing now. Oh, he's good. Gets a good rest since his long performance with me. Let's go and find him. I think he was here. Okay, why is not? Teddy! Oh, where are you? Teddy Bill. Okay, and then it's just the, yeah, it's just the dining room. Hmm. A silver key, which I don't know what. Well, yeah. That's interesting. Let's try to say we've been running around. Girl, we just started. Calm down. Is 
he's already asleep. Okay, sweet dream. I should go back tomorrow when it's time for bed. Sound like someone, someone is speaking. speaking. Who's, Who's over there? there? Are you serious? I just came, came from, from that door. door. The vent is open. Looks, looks like come out from here. That's a little bit too hot, girl. It, it turns, turns out that this one's connected to the library on the first floor. Okay, great. Go into the room, go into the room, go into the room, go into the room. Huh? Who's huh? 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 this guy? He's standing in front of my room. Excuse me, who are you? Greetings, ma'am. Hello. How can I help you? Pardon, I didn't startle you, did I? I'm a friend of Adrian. But unfortunately, I'm unable to find him, so I have to look around. This place is truly magnificent. Just the humidity, that's troublesome. Adrian? Do you mean the circus master? If you're looking for him, his office is right next to my room. Thank you so much for your help. Uh, where's my manner? Allow me to introduce myself when the night's so young. My name is Wyan. Erwin? Uh, may I know your name? My name is Michelle. Michelle. What a lovely name. I'll speak highly of you for my sincere gratitude. Until we meet again. Thanks, bye. Go to bed now. A few moments later. Footsteps can, footsteps can be heard wandering around outside the room. Miss, miss, are you inside? The woman's panic was expressed in her tone of voice in sharp knocks. Lily? Yes, come on in. The maid, whose name is Lily, immediately opened the door and saw the girl as she was trying to catch her breath. Did something happen? Why the panic? She took the girl's coat out of her wardrobe and quickly strove strode toward the girl. I'll explain to you later, but right now we need to leave as soon as possible. Lily put the coat around the girl and Lily carried the girl out of the room in a brush. Lily, what's going on? There is no time. I have to get you to safety first. How about Big Brother and Daddy and Mommy? I'm sorry. 
Lily doesn't know where they are, but the most important thing right now is to get you out of this mansion. Lily ran as fast as she could, even with the girl in her arms. She found... Okay. Michelle, big brother. In the deep end of the garden, Lily and the girl finally meet someone they knew. I didn't see anyone on their way out of the mansion. Thank God, you're okay. Are you okay, big brother? Don't worry, big brother is fine. Then, Mr. Adrian, I shall leave, young lady. And your care. Actually, just young lady in your care. Lily has other duties to attend to. I see. Don't worry. Charlie is also here. Go. After nodding to the butler, standing beside the young man, the maid left the garden in a hurry. Why must Lily leave? She got something else to do. She will return as soon as, as it's done. The girl, the young man, and the butler sat on a stone chair in the garden for a long time, but the maid did not return. Get down! The butler rushed in front of the two as she shouted, blocking the bully on its path to the siblings. Run! The butler picked up the two, and as they were about to make an escape, but but out came another shot. Luckily, the bullet missed and cut through the butler's shirt as it grazed his arms. Following the gunshots, men with long clay mortars walked out from the fences. They were dressed in hooded black clothes and wrapped the lower half of their faces with black cloths, revealing only their eyes. The young man took the girl and ran towards the exit as the butler tries to hold back the black cloth man. Boom! Suddenly, a loud explosion was heard from the mansion. The orange flame flickered in the darkness of the night as fire and debris flew through the air. That's interesting. Just the dining area. I don't know what you would eat the knife for, but it never hurts to be safe. Maybe that lock. Duh. I had to get those children.
A strong stench of corpses came out of the room. A little girl was sitting in the middle of the room. What happened? Who are you? The little girl held back her tears and looked back. It her it took her a while before finally squeezing her voice again. I'm Michelle. What's your name? Adrona? My name is Adrona. Adrona? Did we meet before? You know my name. Maybe, yes. Why are you here? We were a little curious about how the basin looked, so we snuck down at night. Suddenly, someone shot from behind and tried to catch us. We started to run, not hitting this room. Then I realized Vasilia is not after me. Celia, we must find her. The little girl wiped away her tears on her face and tried to get up, but she can't stand up. I should have let go of my hand. She shouldn't have let go of my of her. I couldn't protect my sister. Let me help you. You want to help me? Yes. Can you remember where you last seen Vasilia? We plan to run up to the first floor. Be careful. That person might still be looking for me, Vasilia. When you find Vasilia, say bearded Bill. She will understand the meeting. Got it. It looks like they got separated from the when they were heading to the first floor. The dead body of the child, limbs were cut off. The head, the dead state is quite horrific. Girl, you coming? I guess not. has to be the first floor. Hmm? Vasilia? Who are you? I'm here to find you. Your sister Adrona is looking for you. Adrona is looking for me? Leave me alone. I don't believe you. You must be with that guy. Someone's talking outside the door. It's him. Find someone to hide. They left. Who are you? How do you know about my sister? Why are you helping me? My name's Michelle. I may have drawn her downstairs. She said she got separated from me, but she can't move at the moment. That's why you're here? Yes. How can I trust you? Bearded Bill. Adrona says you would understand that? I will not believe you until I meet Adrona. Bring me to where she is. Girl, if I can remember. Shoot. talking about little kid great timing now you can both die together watch out little bastard damn i wish me run Well, y'all, see, we're going to start with this tomorrow because now 